Next on Worcester News Tonight, New Year's resolutions start tomorrow for many people. We spoke with a few businesses who help people keep their goals on track. Plus, two of central Massachusetts' most popular breweries are teaming up to raise money for the Andrew Lloyd Foundation. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Anna Botari. A Marlboro woman jumps into action to help save her neighbor after a fire broke out in her home. Our Rosalind Flaherty was there and has the details. Chris Thornton says she was at the right place at the right time when her neighbor's mobile home caught fire in Marlboro. They were shooting out like three foot flames coming out that east side. She and another neighbor ran over to the burning home Sunday morning. When they got there, they saw a woman inside leaning out the window. We got her out. The window was probably about four feet high. We gently put her to the ground and and my neighbor went around to make sure that EMS was coming and all that and I stayed with her to make sure her airway stayed open. Firefighters say a woman in her 60s is recovering from burns and smoke inhalation. Sadly, a dog and two cats died in the fire. Thornton says she couldn't believe how fast the flames spread. It was fast and furious. It, and the thing went up completely in a matter of moments. She says she didn't even think twice about going over to help and is thankful she was around. She's a human being. She's a person. She's a neighbor. I would hope somebody would help me if I was in trouble. That was our Rosalind Flaherty reporting. Several window, windows are damaged at a couple landmarks near downtown Worcester. Outside of Union Station's retail space, four glass windows were broken. One window outside of the DCU Center was also damaged, but has since been covered up with a wooden board. Worcester police say they're looking into it, but at the time have no suspect information. Support for the family of a fallen firefighter is growing. The Ava Roy Fund has surpassed $300,000. Now two local businesses are stepping in to raise money and raise a pint. Our Cam Jandro joins us now live with those details. Cam? Yeah, Anna, all types of businesses have helped raise money for Ava Roy. Even sports teams like the Railers and the Boston Bruins have pitched in to raise some money as well. But now the beer industry is stepping up to help Ava. Two central Massachusetts beer makers are looking to brew up more support for the Ava Roy Fund. And I think it was the morning after the, the news had hit, I reached out to Ben and said, what do you think? And he immediately said, absolutely, let's bring back Worcester's Bravest. Wormtown and Wachusett Breweries will be making a special batch of Worcester's Bravest to honor fallen Worcester firefighter Christopher Roy. The beer hasn't been produced since 2015. Our head brewer, Dave Howard, is uh, partnering with the Wormtown head brewer, Ben Roche, and they're going to work together making this beer this week. It's a wit beer, so a lot of wheat, um, pretty hazy, but um, a lot of wheat flavor. Um, you're not going to get much hop character out of it. Roy died of injuries sustained while battling a five-alarm fire on Lowell Street in early December. Before the beer was retired, proceeds from Worcester's Bravest were donated to fire-related institutions. What better way to not only reunite with those guys and do something meaningful for the community, but also forward uh, both Wachusett and Wormtown's connection to uh, firefighter organizations. 100% of the money earned by Worcester's Bravest will go to the Ava Roy Fund. McMahon says he felt the need for his company to step up following tragedy. It's on us to really have to step forward as leaders of this community and in business and in, in the culture and, and our, our employees and our people that live in this community every day. Now this is going to be a very limited released beer. Only one batch is going to be made, which translates to about 60 kegs worth of beer. The two breweries are hoping to have this out on the market in the first week of February. Anna. Great way to step up. Thanks for that, Cam. Well, now to developing decision 2020 news. Senator Elizabeth Warren is taking the first big step towards launching a campaign for the White House. As political reporter Allison King explains, Warren is the first big name Democrat to launch an exploratory committee. I never thought I would run for anything ever in my life, but America's middle class is getting hollowed out and opportunity for too many of our young people is shrinking. So I'm in this fight all the way. 
Elizabeth Warren made her presidential aspirations official outside her Cambridge home alongside her husband, Harvard Law Professor Bruce Mann, and their dog Bailey. Warren goes into the 2020 race as a fundraising leader with more than $12 million in the bank. She has already started organizing in early primary states like New Hampshire and Iowa. And her message to voters is a clear one. She will fight for the dwindling middle class, rein in big banks and corporations, and hold government accountable. More questionable is her timing. Months after her explanation of Native American heritage fell flat, even with some Democrats, and some feel she is too polarizing to win the general election. The problem we've got right now in Washington is that it works great for those who've got money to buy influence. And I'm fighting against that, and you bet, it's going to make a lot of people unhappy. But at the end of the day, I don't go to Washington to work for them. Elizabeth Warren says she has already received contributions from all 50 states since announcing her exploratory bid this morning. In Cambridge, Allison King for Worcester News Tonight. People of all ages are ringing in the new year with some ice skating. Dozens gather at the Worcester Common Oval Monday to ice skate and drink some hot chocolate. Kids are wrapping up their school vacation week and for many, skating on New Year's Eve is a tradition they look forward to every year. It's been the past couple of years. Yeah, we've done it, the, you know, right towards the end and got all the kids together. It's nice to have something like this to come to and it's outdoors. I'd rather skate outdoors than indoors. I think it's a lot of fun and I think a lot of families should do it. The Oval will also be open on New Year's Day from 1 to 6 p.m. Others celebrating by picking up Chinese food. It's a popular meal for many on New Year's Eve. Takeout spots all over the city are seeing crowds today. Phones were ringing off the hook and customers were going in and out of Hong Kong Island restaurant in Worcester. Customers decided to show up early Monday to beat the crowds. So get it early and we don't have to worry about traffic. Just tradition. And if you eat too much tonight, you may be ready to start that resolution tomorrow. In several hours, 2019 will bring a fresh start to those trying to make a change in their lives. Our Chandler Walsh joins us now live with those details. Chandler? Anna, there's still time to come up with a resolution if you haven't thought of one before the ball drops. Some of the most popular ones include fitness, finance, and travel. I spoke to professionals in each field with, how to, with tips on how to make those resolutions stick. Many have big plans for the new year. Save money. Work more hours and um, plan for the future more. Health and Wellness Director Andy Sherry says it's the busiest time for new memberships at Worcester Fitness. We're seeing about five people per day coming in for a new membership and it's really exciting. For people making fitness a resolution, Sherry recommends starting with a reachable goal of exercising two to three times per week. He says group classes are also a great way to have success. You may find a bond with an instructor, you may find a bond with people you have in your classes. That becomes like an appointment and that's a way to keep you coming to the gym. Ember Chimeli wants to travel more in 2019. Colorado, California, and Portland, Oregon. AAA travel agent Linda Burke says some popular places to go will include Vietnam, Iceland, and Morocco. They're coming into my desk and saying, I'd like to get away somewhere a little exotic or a little, something a little bit different. Burke says AAA's Club Adventures program offers global trips for small groups and services like price matching. What we can see and is a lot faster than maybe what one person could be working on uh, in the evening. We can take care of it right away. Another top resolution, save money. Car Financial Group says the new year is a good time to adapt to what's changed in your own life and in the finance world. President Richard Carr says visiting financial plans two times a year should be enough to keep goals. Reallocating a portfolio to take advantage of changes that have occurred in the market or adapting your tax strategy to uh, accommodate the changes in the law are all very important and it's just a great time of year to do it. People like Marcia Brown are optimistic for what 2019 will bring. To make it better than last year. And back to finances, Carr says the amount people can contribute to their 401k plans and IRA retirement accounts will increase in 2019. He recommends taking advantage and investing more. Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight.